Hey everybody, it's Chris at Oak Street Garden Shop in Crestline Village. Today I wanted to talk to you about myrtle. Um, myrtle is this plant right here, and it is traditionally grown as a topiary. Um, it's native to the Mediterranean, and there it can make large shrubs. It has little flowers, little white flowers when it's blooming. Um, and a lot of people seem to have some troubles with myrtle. Um, so I wanted to just talk to you about it. And I do have a post on our website that uh, just went up, uh, a blog post about myrtle, if you wanna take a look at that as well. Um, myrtle, in its native uh, habitat, uh, like I said, it grows to be a big shrub. It needs good light, it needs even moisture. So in our homes, when you find it, in the, in the stores in a small pot like this, you will see a lot of times, well, it's not too bad, but it can sometimes be very root bound. So you may wanna pop it into just a little bit bigger pot to make it really happy. I'll probably repot these going into spring. Uh, March, April, we'll move them into larger pots if we still have some here. Um, they're not as easy to find. We used to have a grower that we would buy a lot of them from years ago. Um, she's since closed her greenhouse, so uh, we don't have that as an option. We've been trying to find different sizes. This is the size that tends to be out there, and you'll start seeing them uh, from Christmas through spring a lot of the time. So if you decide you want one of these, I was gonna show you four different pots that you could put them in. We've gotten in a lot of containers recently, so there's a lot here to choose from if you wanna come by and take a look. Um, but the myrtle uh, would drop very nicely into this little square. Um, one I like even a little bit better would be this one, where the height of it and then the height of the myrtle matches very, very nicely. Um, whenever we do these, I will, on this the particular one, I'll probably lift it a little bit and then add some of the mood moss around the edge just to give it a little bit of a finishing touch. Um, the other pots here that I've got, I'll just drop them in very quickly. This one would be a perfect fit if you have more of a, a, more of a rustic look. Really, really nice. And then this basket pot, oops keep it in the pot, is another one. And that would work as well. And again, just put the moss right around. Now, when you're taking care of this, I said they like even moisture. It's really important with myrtle. You wanna be sure that when you water this, you water it well. Um, a lot of times the soil that this is in is very light. It's a soilless mix. It dries out fairly quickly. And if you have it in a bright spot, which you must have in your home, it does not want a dark corner, it tends to dry out faster. It dries out faster when our heat is running in the winter. So be sure you keep an eye on that and don't let this baby dry out. You can also clip it to keep it um, to shape. Like that particular one right there eventually will be, will be cutting back and you cut back into the plant. Don't just, don't just shear it. It's just like an outdoor garden plant. You never wanna just shear it. You wanna cut into the plant. That's gonna make it branch and make it fuller. Um, so that is your myrtle tutorial. We have myrtles in stock now. It's the beginning of February. Come see us. We're here from nine to five, Monday through Saturday. And if you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.